Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. I am Dead Overflow and before we get started, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000 by the end of the year, so if you can make that happen, I will be extremely happy. Besides that, make sure to get my bug bounty course, which will teach you all of the things that we're going to learn today in depth. And also my game hacking course, which also includes some of uh, the example sheets which you might be interested in. And besides that, either, either course you get, either it's the bug bounty or game hacking course, it will give you free Avanode online subscription which is also pretty amazing it will give you the premium subscription though so make sure to check them both out links are in the description and now let's go with the video so today's video is going to be a bit interesting because i have many things to cover here you might know that i love password reset vulnerabilities and today's video will be no different uh, i'm going to be using the port swigger lab which is a website intended to be hacked and let's immediately start exploiting it firstly let's go over to the my account and apparently we cannot reach the website wow this is an amazing start off for the video actually i managed to get it back working so let's go over to the my account and let's go to forgot password i usually always and i mean always do this so my own uh username should be vienna so let's enter that there and this is my email client which should receive all of the emails that's good so let me turn on the burp here so proxy everything that's going and let's submit the first email first uh password reset request so let me disable that and on the e email client you can see that we actually did receive hello please follow Follow the link below to reset your password and over here on the on the burp you can see in the proxy that we actually did send a request so let me right click on it and go send to repeater so we can actually play with it now this vulnerability is extremely important and you really need to follow this carefully because it's so easy to mess up and super easy to find this issue what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to add this twice so i'll go send to repeater and essentially have it twice be here and i'm going to modify this request so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add both of them to a group so let me add them both to a group and i know what i'm doing this let me explain i'm trying to send these requests at the exact same time hoping to see how does the mechanism for generating the token which is needed to reset the password of the any user let's say is generated uh we can have some assumptions but this is the first test that i'm going to do i'm going to send them both in hopes that it actually uses just time Time when it actually generates that so it can be using just the time when ba basically current timestamp of the request turn it into a hash and then essentially send it over to an email that's actually how it might just work but you never know so let's test them in parallel uh, and let's see what happens both of them were sent so that's pretty cool uh, both of them got 200 okay so let's go back to the email client and let's see what happened and the first one and the second one were sent in the exact same time but uh, you can see that the tokens are different well similar but still very different it doesn't matter if it starts with the same thing so yeah that is a problem but you might have noticed that it actually the php session id it actually contains php inside of it meaning that it's using probably php which can actually have some protections against rate limit vulnerabilities and one of them could be that it when it when the request or two requests which arrive at the same time have same session id which actually they do they might get processed in a sequence rather than at the same time which means first one will get processed first and the second one will be processed second but we want them to be processed at the exact same time for this so what are we going to do well we can actually go to proxy and uh, we can just right click on this and send it to repeater again and we can just right here get instead of post and we can remove the payload and we can essentially also remove the php session uh, id so we actually get assigned a new one and you can see that we actually did get assigned a new one so i'm going to uh, essentially just copy this and go to the second let's say and put it there so the second request will be having that session id but you might notice that it is also csrf and usually csrf tokens are tied to a session so we actually need to scroll just down a bit and find the form which is needed to send the actual password reset request and you can see that there is a hidden input field which holds the name csrf and this is the value and let's copy that value up and let's replace this one right here you might notice that they're different which means that we actually kind of did this the right way let's close this up and now we have two of the requests two of them which actually have different session id session tokens and different csrf tokens as well let's send them again in parallel and let's see what happens both of them got 200 let's go back here and let's hit refresh okay oh would you look at that now we actually see that the tokens are exactly the same that is very weird and you can see that the actual 
actual scent was in the second exact same time. Okay, so we actually did find a vulnerability now, but how do we actually prove, prove this is a vulnerability? Well, the actual goal of this lab or this vulnerable website is to actually get to the user Carlos and reset their password and log in as Carlos. We don't know what the password is to Carlos, but we can definitely reset it this way. And this is why this vulnerability is scary and why you might actually stumble upon it because it's super easy to find it. So I'll just update the username to one of these requests to a different user or in this case, Carlos. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send them both in the same at the same time, hoping that the tokens are also going to be the exact same for different users. But you might notice that there's also a user parameter, which means that we can also update this to Carlos and just have the same token be for this request and the other one. Because by this logic, we send them at the exact same time. So let's go back and let's send them in parallel. So just like that, both of them got 200 and we should only receive one request this time. And yeah, there it is. This is the only request we received and it has a different token from the last one and it is generated on the 30 30 second second sorry so let's open this link in a new tab and as you can see we can update the password to ourselves however if we just update the username to carlos and hit enter okay there we go we see invalid token hmm, something's definitely wrong let me actually just test it so it might actually not always work because of timing so we might actually have to send it again and hope that you know this time it, it actually does work so let's see it uh we actually send this one so it works for us but if we go for for Carlos, maybe it will work this time. Okay, it doesn't work. So something is definitely up. Well, we tried it two times, but now I have an idea to maybe change the first request to Carlos and the second one to Vienna. So Carlos, the first one and the second one to my. So let's send them and maybe now it will work. I don't know why. I don't know why it is not working, but definitely a lot of uh, testing is required when you're actually hacking. So let's set it this one. And would you look at that? Actually, now it works. So the key was to put the victim or your other account if you're doing bug bounty testing first request and the second one to be yours. Okay. Okay, that's actually very interesting. So let's send it to set the vulnerability to one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And let's click submit and let's go to account, Carlos. And I don't know if that's the vulner that's the actual password, but let's go one, two, three, four, click on login, and there we go. We actually just were able to log in as Carlos. We actually see the admin panel. So that's good. Let's delete it and boom, we just solved the lab. Hopefully you learned something new from today's video. Hopefully you understand how now password reset vulnerabilities work and how they function. And hopefully this is going to help you later in bug bounty hunting. And hopefully you learn a new type of vulnerability today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment down below what your favorite vulnerability is. And as always, peace.